Shemp Howard was the second of the original Three Stooges. After only one movie, Soup to Nuts, Shemp left because of a contract dispute and was replaced by his brother, Jerry Curly Howard. When Curly had a debilitating stroke in 1946, Shemp came back to the group and starred in over 73 Stooges films. Sadly, on November 22, 1955, Shemp died suddenly of a heart attack. And then after that, he appeared in four brand new films by the Three Stooges. Welcome to Legion of Weird as we get party conversation education. I'm Christopher, bringing you small talk libation for your social situation. Shemp intended his tenure with the Stooges to be temporary. He was gonna leave when his brother was well enough to come back, but sadly, Curly never really recovered and died in 1952. After losing a second brother, Mo was disheartened and considered disbanding the Three Stooges, but Columbia Pictures reminded him he was on the hook for four more films. So Rumpus in the Harem, Hot Stuff, Scheming Schemers, and Commotion in the Ocean were all released in 1956 featuring Shemp who appeared on screen thanks to recycled footage and a body double. Mo still had two other brothers, Irving and Jack, but apparently neither one of them were interested in being a stooge. Interesting side note, the 1947 film Hold That Lion was the only movie to feature Mo, Larry, Curly, and Shemp together. Curly made a spontaneous appearance with a full head of hair. <laughs> What is that, a cocky spaniel? There was an attempt to star Curly in another film, Malice in the Palace, but his scenes were cut when it was found he wasn't healthy enough to continue the shoot. In the four films by the Three Stooges, featuring posthumous Shemp, when continuity dictated Shemp appear on screen, he was replaced by actor Joe Palma, who did all the scenes without showing his face. And Shemp's voice was dubbed over most of those scenes. Fake Shemp, a term for someone appearing in a movie in a way that obscures their face with either camera angles or costumes in order to replace another actor was a term coined by filmmaker Sam Raimi. Raimi? Raimi? Raimi. Sam Raimi. Guess it's Raimi. Should have checked that before turning the camera on. When he was making the movie The Evil Dead, his production ran way over schedule and a lot of actors just walked off. He was forced to replace them with fake shemps. Who aren't fake shemps? Our Patreon gang, Gary, Christopher, Tim, Patty, Alex, Daniel, G Ma Lolly, Fatal83, and Molly. The fake Shemp technique was actually used before Shemp died. While making the 1937 film Saratoga, actress Jean Harlow collapsed suddenly and died a week later of kidney failure when the movie was 90% complete. MGM wanted to reshoot with another actress, but the fans weren't having it. The remaining scenes were shot with actress Mary Dees playing. Harlow's part, usually shot from behind, but sometimes using costumes to obscure her face. Plan 9 from Outer Space. Actor Bella Lugosi had already died when Ed Wood started making this movie. He did so by piecing together all the footage he had of Bella Lugosi, and then he filled in all the missing parts with his wife's chiropractor, who actually didn't resemble Lugosi in any way. As a result, Bella Lugosi's last movie got two Golden Turkey Awards, one for Worst Film and one for Worst Director. The ending for Poltergeist 3 had been filmed with a stand-in for Heather O'Rourke, who had died the month before. When Crispin Glover refused to do the sequels for Back to the Future, he was replaced by actor Jeffrey Weissman. Unless you're a mega fan, you might not realize it, though, because Weissman was actually wearing a Crispin and Glover mask. Seriously. It took four hours of makeup and prosthetics every day to make him look like Crispin Glover, who sued them later, and the Screen Actors Guild has since barred this whole practice. In the movie Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom, Harrison Ford's stunt double Vic Armstrong actually replaced him in a few scenes while Harrison Ford was out with a bad back. Apparently they looked so much alike Spielberg would confuse them on set, and Ford joked that they could go home with the wrong wives and nobody would notice. Since the age of CG GI is upon us, we're now getting these artificial replacements known as digital shemps. Brandon Lee in The Crow, Nancy Marchland in The Soprano, Oliver Reed in Gladiator, Paul Walker in Fast and Furious 7. As for the Three Stooges, after those four fake shemp films, they enlisted Joe Besser to make 16 films with them before they were fired by Columbia in 1957. In the 60s, they had a comeback, this time with third member Curly Joe Dorita, who oddly picked 
picked that name because he thought it would differentiate him from Curly and Joe. Sadly, Larry Fine had a stroke in 1970. Emil Sitka was lined up to be the first fake Larry, but Moe's lung cancer put the kibosh on that. Here's a thought. Carrie Fisher's dead, but General Leia isn't. Do you think there's going to be a digital Shemp version of General Leia in the next Star Wars movie? What do you think? Let me know in the comments below. Until next time, stay weird and stay out of the comfort zone. Hey, check out that shirt from our merch shop. It's also a great Facebook group with great people and a Patreon. You click one of those videos on the screen, I'd love that. Or maybe you're headed to yoga class to unwind. In that case, Namaste.